to this short presentation which will provide an introduction to Bayer's Reconciliation Action Plan. In about five minutes I will explain why diversity and inclusion are important in Bayer, why we have started a Reconciliation Action Plan, what are the steps in this plan and what contribution Bayer can make in this area. Diversity and inclusion are highly important to Bayer as they make our workplace a safer and better place, but also speak powerfully to our customers and stakeholders about our values as a company. While Australian society faces many diversity challenges and opportunities, following extensive discussion in 2018, the CLT decided to focus on four key areas to start our diversity and inclusion program. These are gender diversity, community engagement, cultural celebration, and reconciliation with our Indigenous community. With each of these areas, we at a minimum will seek to strengthen our internal processes, but can challenge ourselves to get involved more broadly in our community, as many leading companies are doing. It's about having an impact on the community in which we live and work. Indigenous Affairs was chosen because, while it's one of the most intractable challenges facing Australia, there are many opportunities and Bayer with its portfolio in health and nutrition and agriculture has the opportunity to bring new perspectives and solutions. While Indigenous Affairs is sometimes complex, we at the start have been given a gift. It's a gift from the former Prime Minister John Howard and Professor Mick Dobson called the Reconciliation Action Plan process. Launched in 2006, this program is a set of guidelines which establishes a simple, respectful pathway for engaging with Indigenous communities. By any measure, it's been an amazing success. 767 organisations now have created RAPs and there are 6,658 partnerships between those RAP organisations and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. The process sets out four topics of discussion. Relationships, that is who are our Indigenous stakeholders, respect, learning and respecting and supporting rituals and culture, opportunities, discussions of opportunities to have a positive impact, governance, how the relationship and activities will be managed. There are four increasing levels of commitment, reflect, innovate, stretch and elevate. It is a multi-year process with some general guidelines, but in the end, no obligation to achieve any specific target by any specific timeline. The important thing to understand is that Bayer is starting the first one year reflect wrap. The primary pur purpose of this is to do exactly that, listen, learn and reflect on how we want to engage with the Indigenous community. In time we would decide together what and when we do in relation to the whole process. While discussions with the Indigenous community will guide our future actions, we are not starting completely from scratch. In the health space, Bayer is a founding sponsor and supporter of the Heart of Australia Specialist Medical Delivery System, which continues to serve a large number of Indigenous communities. In the agriculture and food space, Bayer is a founding sponsor of the Indigenous training restaurant in Fitzroy called Charcoal Lane. Over 10 years, this restaurant has trained more than 250 Indigenous youth in the hospitality industry. Looking forward, we can think of new ways we can contribute in our core areas of agriculture, nutrition and health. A good starting point would be to do more to understand Indigenous ag practices. Bruce Pascoe's book Dark Emu has reset our view about Indigenous agricultural practices and ways of life. Learning and understanding and reflecting on these is a great place to start our conversations. We could engage in discussions on Indigenous food, perhaps adding our expertise and products to this growing industry. We could work with our consumer health colleagues to address nutrition in remote communities. And we can do more to support training and skills building in our areas of professional expertise, which could be a great way of adding value to regional indigenous communities. There are doubtless many other possibilities. Thank you for listening. If you're interested to learn more, type inclusion and diversity into your Bayonet search bar to access the full Reconciliation Action Plan 
and resources regarding this interesting topic. Thank you again for listening.